Hey y'all, y'all already know what it is. Let me see that orange bag. First time at the store. Um, this is gonna be the unboxing and if you care, I will have a first time experience video. But yes, this is a very small haul because your girl's a baby baller, balling on the budget. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this. And like I said, I don't have a lot of stuff, so I'm not gonna, you know, bore y'all. So we'll go ahead and I guess we'll start from biggest to smallest, I guess. Or <laughs> from smallest to biggest. So here's the bag, okay? Nothing to it, very cute bag. I got three items. Okay. Here are my three boxes, small, medium, and large, no, I'm kidding. So we'll go ahead and get into the first thing. Very small item. Can we talk about how they like wrap everything? Like, can we just take a second to just appreciate the boxes and the wrapping? And can we just, okay, we've had our moment. Wait, hold on. Let me do a quick little like sexy, like montage. Have some nice, like slow music playing. I don't even know <laughs> okay now that y'all have entertained my foolishness we'll go ahead and get into it here's our first little box okay and i can't wait to tell y'all the story about how all this went down because there were some things i wasn't expecting to get that i had my eye on but i just wasn't expecting to get them so in this box we have a little pouch all right, very nice pouch. Again, you know their boxes, they're known for their nice boxes. This is like a suede, I guess, brown suede with the Hermes logo on it. And the first thing that we have is a bracelet, a leather bracelet, and this is rose gold, and color is rose Sakura. Very popular pink, apparently. I actually went into the store looking for a um, orange bangle. They have these like skinny bangles that I saw. And unfortunately, I have big hands and a small wrist. And I wanted something that was going to sit flush on my wrist. And when we tried it on, it was not sitting flush. I'm going to try and see if I can put this back on. And they didn't have yellow gold, so this is actually the rose gold, but it's cute. And especially with the pink, I think the rose gold, let me take off my little scrunchie. I think the rose gold and the pink actually is like a, a, like a doper look. But honestly, I'm more of a yellow gold girl myself. And if I ever decide to get jewelry from them, I would want to get, um, I'd want to get yellow gold. Um, there is a little... Uh, like wrapping around the hardware so I'm just gonna take that off if you're curious about my wrist size I'm a t2 I have a pretty small wrist and like I said a pretty big hand at first my essay was suggesting that I get the click clack bracelet but honey I'm not about to get a bracelet that has a mechanism that's going to break down over time and I feel like this just again it sits flush once this breaks in it'll move a little but not a lot I'm probably not going to wear this to sleep, so it'll be a little while before it really starts to like break in, but I'm really looking forward to like having a stacking moment with this. It's so cute. So yeah, I'll let y'all get up close on it. That's the rose gold, and then it's got the rose Sakura braided leather. I have this shitty little gold faux bracelet that I'm actually looking forward to replacing, and I'm not exactly sure if I want to do Cartier or if I want to do Hermes again. Or um, I'm actually in the process of designing my own jewelry. I might just design something myself. But I, I want to have like a pretty dope stack on this hand. But yeah, that is the bracelet. Very understated. Like I said, if you don't know the brand, you're not going to know what this is. And then what's particularly cool about this closure and why I liked it and why I'll probably go back and get it in yellow, gold, and brown is because it matches the closure on my Hermes Vespa bag. So that's like the big boy version of this little closure so it's in theme it's matching <laughs> it's in theme and matching so 
that is the bracelet and I'm going to go ahead and leave that on for the rest of the video. So the next thing that we have is what's in here? Try to forget. Oh, this is actually the item that like I, you know, I've gone there for. I kind of was on a mission to replace something that I've had for a while and I just feel like it's time to put it up. It's not representative of who I am as a person. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, this next box is actually the priciest item, but it's also an item that I use in my day-to-day, -day, so I'm not too mad about the fact that it was pricey. And you know, to each his own, you know what I'm saying? Mind your own checks, you know? <laughs> so anyway, this was all the wrapping. It's already peeking out there, okay? And as we open, we have a wallet. Now, this wallet, child, was a pretty penny. Um... This was the most expensive thing that I got, but this wallet is supposed to be replacing my current wallet, which is a Michael Kors wallet. Let me go and grab that. I'll be right back. So this is this next item is the In The Loop Mini Card Holder Multicolor. This is Allure Vert Veron. So it's it's a, it's several different colors. Um, it's green. It's got some pink. It's It's a little bit of everything, which I really, really like. And I don't know if y'all can see, but I believe that that is several pieces of leather there. I could be wrong. I could totally be tripping out and it could just be like colored, but it looks like that might be different colored pieces put together. But anyway, this is the wallet. And my thought is that I could put my keys here on this zipper possibly, but yeah, it has a snap closure here. So when you open it up, you can put cards here and here. And then there's like a little coin purse part here. All right. And you could possibly, if you have like a key fob, you could probably put a key fob there too. So yeah, that's the name of that item. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But yeah. Um, in a separate video, I'll show y'all what this can fit and all of that. But this was actually meant to replace my current wallet. As you can tell, it's just seen better days. It's rough, it's a mess, and I just wanted to upgrade. So we're upgrading, honey, okay? <laughs> and um, also I didn't want like a Calvi card holder or anything else. I wanted something that was gonna be fairly secure and this is pretty secure. And I also wanted, needed something that was gonna be able to have a fairly big capacity. I feel like with time, once this breaks in, it'll be able to hold quite a bit, especially in these two card slots here. I feel like it'll be able to hold a lot. So that is the card holder that I bought. Um, and then last but not least, the piece, the results, the piece where I'm like, do I even wanna wear this? Um, because a lot of people hang them up and don't wear them. <laughs> um, but I felt like I can't not get it because I feel like there's so much you can do with it. And I'm looking forward to exploring all those options. Last but not least, like y'all seen the ribbon. I don't need to get all fancy unboxing the ribbon. Nice big box. I think y'all should be able to tell, um, what this is just based on the box. Okay. All right, look at her. And y'all know that I already own um, in my Cheapest Things series, one of the cheapest things that I bought was a notebook that is bound in the Hermes silk. So I, I have a special appreciation for this pattern in particular and just in the silks in general. I'm debating on whether or not I wanna just hang this up um this particular pattern i was i checked it out online and i just thought it was really pretty hopefully i have enough space back here that i can open this up and y'all can see it but it is a silk scarf hold on let me get it right side up and it's like this really cool like african print like with animals on it i'm gonna just slowly go around so y'all can see this print it's so beautiful and vibrant okay and then look at that big elephant in the middle and 
you know, it's got zebras on it and, you know, crocodiles and just, it's beautiful. Like, this is gorgeous, right? So, obviously, because this is a big silk scarf, there are a lot of things that I can do with this. Um, you know, obviously, the first thing that comes to mind for me personally as a black woman is um, actually to wear it on my head. <laughs> That's like my first thought. Oh my god look at how that and everything's so symmetrical so like depending on what way you wear it you can get all kind of really cool designs if you want the little pairs to peek out that's an option um i know in the store let me see if i can remember how she did it in the store i think she did something like this and then she put it around her neck like that if I remember correctly, yeah, it was like that. That's how my essay had it. Um, but yeah, uh, this pattern was so beautiful. They had a blue version of this same, um, of this same silk scarf, but I just really loved, like, look at the ears on the elephant. Like, just the patterns are so intense. Like, Hold on, look at the pattern on the legs of the giraffe. Like, are y'all seeing this? Like, this is beautiful. Um, and as we know, the edges are all hand rolled. There's just, everywhere you look, there's just a beautiful pattern everywhere you look. You know, this is like such eye candy. So yeah, I could like hang it back here. And have like this really dope background. Wait, hold on. I could hang it back here like as big as this is. This, this could literally be my background. I could have like two of them back here. Um, yeah. So those were the items that I got from my first trip to Hermes. I am very, very happy with my items. Um, I'm looking forward to playing around with my silk scarf. And then obviously transferring all my cards to my new wallet. Um, I do plan to use my stuff. Um, I'm not really worried about resell on these. Like, I just want to enjoy them for life. And for what I paid, cost per wear is, like, the first thing on my mind. So, my first thought is, like, wear them, enjoy them, love them. Don't wait for a special occasion. Every day is a special occasion. We just, we don't know when our last day will be. Enjoy you know what I'm saying? We work hard to play hard and joy. And um, it just felt good to go in and, you know, see things that I had been eyeing for so long and like be able to touch them and all of that. Um, like I said, I can't speak for other people's experiences because there are countless videos on the internet about how people feel like they're treated less than in these stores and i'll be completely honest with you if it gets to a point where i feel like my wishes aren't being granted and she did take down some items for me already wish list uh, i asked about rodeos and i asked about the her bag in black with gold hardware um obviously no birkin no kelly no constance that that takes time and I'm nowhere near, you know, per purchase history wise where I want to be in order to make that happen. And honestly, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm in school. That would be a really dope graduation gift in like two years, like a, a Birkin or something like that. So I'll, I'll worry about that then. At this point, I'm enjoying the journey. There were, you know, there was a tea set in there that I really liked that I wouldn't mind buying piece by piece. Um, I saw blankets and pillows that obviously I'd be interested in getting for my living room. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a thumbs up. Let me know how you feel about the brand, good or bad. Um, if you're somebody who enjoys the brand, let me know what your first purchases were down in the comment section below. But if you're curious, everything that I bought's online. I'll go through everything again. I got the bracelet. Uh, specifically, I got the Swift Calf Brass Rose Gold Plate Leather Bracelet. I got the La March de Zambezi 90 centimeter silk twill scarf. And then I also got the In The Loop Mini Mark Card Holder Multicolor. And those were my three items. So yeah, till next video. Peace.